Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. What I want to cover in this module is the basics, how to get started with Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is a video for beginners in PowerPoint. So when you first open PowerPoint, you're usually presented with a title slide and it's saying there, look, click to add a title and click to add a subtitle. And across the top on the ribbon, you are on the home tab. You've got options here where you can create new slides of varying types so they're all sort of preset or you can go for a blank type my my preference is just to follow the default so after this title slide if i create another slide it will be the this one title and content but you can change that if you so wish and you've got some other tools here where you can select layout if you've already got a slide this slide i can change that to be a different type with the layout option I'll just put that back and you've got reset and then you can create sections which is a different video altogether so I've got this first slide and I'm just going to do a title so I'll call it Waterloo and then it says there click to add subtitle you can do that by clicking your mouse or you can do control and enter and that will drop down like so so June the 18th 1815 now I want a new slide now and I'm going to go up the top and click new slide for this next example and you can see there it's giving me that bullet list slide powerpoint does go down the route of bullet lists you don't have to do that i find when you just tell a story and it's just a blank slide where you've got text boxes coming on sometimes that's more engaging than just following a list but i'm going to follow the list for this next slide it says click to add title there i'm not going to click i'm just going to start typing and it defaults to that top box and then control and enter key gets me into this bullet list area now my recommendation is that you don't type too many bullets on a slide the rule of thumb is three bullets three points per slide and even three points for the whole presentation if you can get that and then three points to review always not not always possible i know now i want a sub bullet underneath wellington so i'm going to press my tab key alternatively I could have clicked this indent level, but I press tab. When I type guards, press enter, I get another bullet in the same line, in the same level. Now I want to go back so I can click this or do shift tab and it takes me back. And then I can do the next heading, press enter, then tab, and then type whatever I want that to be. In this case, infantry, press enter. This time I will click this button to go back, so I'm showing you both ways. And then Uxbridge is the last person, and this slide, tab, cav, al, re. Now that's all I want on this slide, three points. So I now need to create a new slide, or I can click that up there, new slide, or I can do control and enter again, and because there's not another text box for it to jump to, it will actually create a new slide. So let's try that, control and enter. And it creates a new slide and then I can do the next title French forces control and enter and then just go through the, the same process again enter tab and then little phrases you don't want to be putting paragraphs there shift tab to come back Marshal Ney enter cavalry these are just prompts that you should be then speaking about shift tab back and the last guy can be Murat who's in charge of the artillery that's all I want to do so these are prompts when this comes up on the slide you should have some narrative to talk and use your presentation skills to deliver that part of the presentation you should not be reading a paragraph of information along this slide so we've got three slides you see down this left hand side you've got like a mini preview and you can move these up and change them around by just dragging if you want just put that back down you can make this wider so they're bigger bigger preview or smaller if you've got more slides whichever you want to do down the bottom you've got a notes area which you can expand and type notes so for this example i will do it like this and again it's i've seen people put loads of information here and they expect people to be able to read that 
while they're doing a presentation. What I would suggest, again, you're using prompts. So what do I want to say when Wellington comes up? When Wellington comes up, I'm going to say he was born in 1769, died in 1852. That's what I need people to be saying there. When Picton comes up, so that's the second bullet, he forgot his uniform. I want you to say that, and he was shot in the head. And then Uxbridge, didn't spell that right, did I? Forgot his uniform. And then Uxbridge lost his leg. So that's what I want you to say when that comes up, lost leg. And any other presentation tips or skills you've got at that particular point. So that's the notes for this particular slide. That's what you need to say. Now across the bottom of the screen, you've got this notes area, which you can expand by clicking that button. I just use this option and made it like that. So you can have quite a lot of notes. You've got this button here, which says normal. If I click it again, it switches this little preview that you had there into slide outline view, which is just exactly what it says in the tin and outline of these this information, I'll just make this a little bit smaller. Now what this is about is, I've just said to you that I, I recommend you try three points. So let's say you've got four points on the slide and you want to move this one, that, up onto this slide. I know there's already three on there, but this is what you can do. You can just select that and then push it up, if I can get out of the thing. Push it up onto the next slide. That's it, got it. But you don't want it to go, let's get it to go to the top. So now that's gone to the top, and then I can bring it back down to the bottom. And now it's not sitting how I want it, so I can just press there, press enter, and it'll go back down how it was. Now, I've messed this up slightly by doing that. That needs to be tabbed down, and now I'm back as I was. Now the good news about this there, if you're, quick, if you're a quick typist, if I press enter and then shift tab, and then shift tab again, I get a new slide and I can type, press enter, tab, and I get the sort of bullet list going that I was doing in the slides and it's very quick to do. As you can see there, just with the shift tab and the tab key, like so. So if you're a quick typist, the outline view, which is that, what that's called, is a, is a good view to, to use. So I'll just delete all this off. Don't want any of that. Now to save this, it's control S for save or click the floppy disk at the top. It's picking up it's picking up Waterloo and it's going into documents. I've probably already got one in there. No, I haven't, that's alright then. So it's picking that up. Save to PC. If you want to put that back to the preview of slides, you just click that button again and you get a little mini preview. Next to that you've got slide sorter view, which is giving you a bigger view of that preview, and again you can move these around by just dragging them. And this option gives you um, also preview of any animations or transitions that you may have put on these slides. So you, we haven't got any at the moment, so you can't see nothing. The next view is the reading pane. It shows this, um, as it says on the tin, a reading pane. You've got these navigating arrows that you can go through the presentation like so. So a slide sorter. And then the last view is the whole screen. This is a presentation mode. So you see this in the whole screen. If I press enter, I'll just go through the slides and eventually come back down to where I was. Now, if I want to get back into the first view, I can click on the normal option or I can double click on any slide and it will bring me back into the normal view. So that's the views that you've got. You've also got this scroll bar down the right hand side where you can scroll through slides just going down like that. And you can do these navigation arrow arrows and go up back through the slides. So it's whichever way you want. If you've got a big presentation, and if you're on this side, the same sort of thing, you can scroll down. There's not enough slides to scroll down at the minute, but you get a scroll bar as well. Now across the top, we're on the home tab. You've got other options that you can use. I'm not going to do any of these just yet, but this little basic session. Design, these are preloaded designs and you can create your own. But I'm going to use a preset one. I'll go for that one. And then that just puts it on every slide. So the title of the slide looks quite nice. 
the secondary side slide doesn't look great the fonts have got a bit small so on the right hand side you've got this option design ideas and these are coming up with some different options and I quite like that that looks good and if I go into British Forces I can do that as well then now that now that looks good the problem I've got here with this is this font looks quite small um, if I go back to home it's 18 so it is quite small so you can actually change the font if you want if you just drop that up to say 32 as long as 32 looks good now I've got a video showing you how to do this quickly on multiple slides um, this is just a if you've got a few slides because you didn't well, you wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't want to do that for 50 slides but that looks okay now always check in full screen so if I put that into slideshow there we go that looks okay and then keep click, clicking and it gets you back to the slide you was on now after design you've got transitions this is how one slide moves to the to another and I like there's lots of different options there and you get like different pre previews some of them are quite cool some are, some of them are just basic what you've got to bear in mind is you do not want to distract your audience by having fancy transitions like that I tend to go for dissolve in if I like that and you need then to apply it to all then all the slides have got the same effect you can see the little star so that just that just plays the animation you can see it going there now this stuff at the end you've got some of the features here I'm not going to cover them right now but you can set this on it's on mouse click but you can set this to go on a timing and you can apply it to all you can change the duration of the effect so that effect that transition lasts a bit longer and you can put music on a transition as well these are preset noises don't ever use any of these because they're very very annoying but you can actually go into other sound and put music on if you want for a title slide and again I've got a video of that showing you how to do that now animations normally you do not animate the title because when you get a new slide there won't be anything there if it's animated you animate the text so if I click on this text box that's what I want to animate and you've got four options you've got green for entrance different entrance yellow ish for emphasis and red for exit and then motion pass is the fourth one now I tend to go for this option add animation through here and I activate the animation pane so I can see what's going on on each slide just make that a bit bigger same sort of things are going to appear when you click on that but if I go add animation the one I want there it, again I'm, I'm fairly basic in what I use, usually choose which is dissolve in so I want them to dissolve in like so and then if I click on play it's going to dissolve in like that if I want these to come in individually I need to go into what's called effect options you've got it there but that's just a basic list so sometimes you can do things from there but I want to do it a bit more detailed than that so I'm going to go into effect options so I've clicked this little down arrow effect options just move that across so I don't want any sound but I want it to dim to a different color so let's go to go blue and text animation I want it all to come in at five levels and now on this particular example I, I've only got two levels so I could get that at two but I, I tend to put it to five as default because if I decide to add another bullet later on it's going to pick it up anyhow click OK to that now you get it coming in and dimming out which is quite useful when you have got more than three points on the slide and you want to know when the last one is because the last one will go blue and then there will not be anything black so the next click will be a new slide so I'll just do that on this one and again I've got a video to show you how you can do this on 50 slides just once and the information will just cascade through all 50 slides so dissolve in ok go into effect options set what you want so I want it to dim to that same color blue and text animation to level 5 and ok to that and then you preview that and that's how I want it to be so basically when this is in presentation mode you click your mouse you talk about Napoleon 
then you click your mouse again Napoleon goes blue and guards is bold or black and that's got focus and you talk about that and that's how it works total control so let's put it into full screen so I can show you so there's nothing there so I click I talk about Napoleon he changes color now I'm talking about guards guards changes color now I'm talking about nay I'm just going to press escape to come off that slide back to this and I need to save what I've been doing, so I'll just click on the floppy disk so we've got a save. Now, that is all I want to talk about in this little video. So it's just getting you started, keeping it simple, not too much information on each slide, having it animate and doing a transition that is not going to distract your audience so they sit there trying to guess what's coming next. So hopefully for those of you that are beginners in PowerPoint, that is a useful video for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.